Hello everyone, it is me, Jared Gaming here, and um, this is uh, some nice, um, some nice ASMR we are doing here. This probably isn't really an ASMR, it's probably just me thinking that I'm the quietest I could have ever been. So in other words, this could be a Splatoon 2 quiet game we're having here. My microphone is amped up really high, sensitively, if that's even a sentence, to the point where this raspy whispering is actually me talking very close to the microphone, hoping that I am not going to um, destroy or puncture anyone's ears to death. The moment I decide to make one loud noise, that is when everyone's ears get punctured. So, hope you guys can survive my raspy, um, irritating voice, I guess. And I hope um, I don't puncture your ears in the process. But dang. That's how you get that weird feeling where you just find the strangest things and you you hang out always hanging out in this specific side of the square always looking for some kind of art that looks so beautiful or looks so cute or looks just something or whatever it is I'm always gonna just walk around and find something and it bound to be weird or bound to be really pretty some people even wear the strangest of outfits just right there. But I'm not sure people that wear this outfit, but it's, uh, it's hilarious. You know, what I think is really funny about the people with different Special Forces beret. There's one with mine, which is the opening gambit. There's one with comeback. There's one with special charge up. Then there's this one with run speed up, which I'm not sure how should I feel about that. But you know what? I'll give it a like anyway, because I can. You can hear something as simple as me trying to breathe and inhale and exhale through my nose. You ain't always gonna get stuff like that. So enjoy what you get for this time, because you ain't gonna get stuff like this again. So, enjoy. You know, the best part is, you can even hear me opening some nice mints right here, as you guys are hearing right now. As I chew on this mint, battle starts. I hope that uh, guys will just have a great time. And I'm not really for sure how mentally prepared I am for another round of tower control, especially since it's been quite a while since I even played this game. But you know what? Win or lose. We'll just see what we can get. But of course, we're going to start with everyone aiming for the tower. But then there's me on the other hand trying to figure out what kind of area can I obtain. And then just die point blank the moment I even try to activate my armor. Which is just... So already, the opposite team has taken an unnecessarily lead on us. That's honestly not a good thing. That's what I say. Oh, of course, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, this ain't good, this ain't good. Oh my goodness, alright. Just straight up harassed by three people. But I mean, that's why I have quick respawn. Situations like that. You know, what kind of part am I doing for my team if I'm just gonna 
lazily walk around collecting turf. And then activate my ink armor hoping that would do something. But really, that's just um That's just getting my whole team killed. You know, it's probably after this match I need to decide on a new tower control weapon. I am not really the best with frontliner weapons. And I'm not going to be good. I'm going to do nothing but try to turf area and hope that I'm going to get some kind of reward for that. Even though turfing area in this mode in particular probably doesn't do you a lot, all I can do is just hope it does. Okay, we've taken out a large portion of people. Okay, we've taken out a large portion of people, but they also took a huge lead on us. Which, that ain't really good. I also just love how there's a Clash Blaster just on our team, just doing what he can right now. He's not really that useful as a teammate, if you would ask me. I mean, that's just my opinion. You guys can say anything you want about a Clash Blaster. But all I'm gonna say is, enjoy my tapping. Because you ain't gonna get this every day of the week. But you guys would like some more of this ASMR gameplay, which I don't plan to do very often, as much as you guys want me to. Now we take the end zap, throw some shit bomb in the tower so that we can take some kind of safety, and take the tower, turf our area as quickly as possible. Throw something, just, just throw whatever I can. Just throw whatever I can. Just hope I'll survive. And instead of surviving, I died, like the usual. Which is probably gonna happen for the next few hundred times. Double suck bombs. I'll kill you, because you're just right there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That ain't good. Well, then again, nothing ever goes well if your opposite team has the entire lead. Right off the bat. Oh, I don't appreciate this 96 right there. I don't appreciate him how he tried to sneak up on me like that. If he had any other weapon, he would have been so much more successful. But he failed so tragically. Because he just had to have that kind of weapon. Okay. I'm not sure what I want to do. But I'm going to take the tower. And oh, more than likely, we're bound to die. Right here. As I try to obtain my ink armor. I try to keep my safety. Shoot. Oh, okay. Well, there, there wasn't really that much I was able to do other than just hope I would do something and survive. But, yeah, that's the problem. Came off just like that. I wonder if you guys would actually like some tapping. Just for the sake of it. you guys like that <laughs> you always gotta know you always gotta ask yourself what do I like and what do I not like enjoy this tapping you're not gonna get this every single day you're probably gonna get these very rarely every once in a while so enjoy some nice old-fashioned tapping oh yes <laughs> so I picked the Sorel umbrella because something at the back of my mind since this was a good idea I'm not sure what made me think it was but I'm gonna just hope that it would go well I mean that other woman on the other team has a regular spot umbrella and I have a Sorella which isn't really as powerful as a regular one but in tower control situations it might have for me at least, a little bit more uses than it would if with a regular one. Just a little bit more. Not too much, just a little bit more. So this is when you should start questioning life choices if you're used if you're like me. I think it's a good idea. <sighs> okay. That's wonderful. Okay, now I am realizing how amazing Inkstorm could possibly be. Oh my god. Every single time I get ganged up in some way, in some fashion, and it's honestly not really that funny. <sighs> it's very unpleasant. Okay, this is when you I should start questioning what am I doing in this 
because I am putting zero amount of effort into actually helping my team. Oh, oh my goodness, where was she? This is when I start questioning life. I didn't even know she was right there. As we start taking them out one by one, that's when we start pushing. The problem is, is that the weapon that I have in particular, I don't think it really does anything necessarily for my taste. The only thing I could do was just survive as long as possible. I know there's a name mine over there. Oh my god. See, this is when I need a different weapon, because I don't know how to use umbrellas in particular. Oh my god. Oh my, seriously? When you... Okay, fine. That, fine, 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 fine. I can't really do much. I am no use for the team at all. Just a bit. So I think I'm gonna just not pick the bros anymore. Maybe this one in particular. Oh my god. You know, there's one thing I'm realizing. I, I see what the problem is. The problem is... The opposite team has two things in particular that make them a really good team. And that is the fact that they have Inkjet and Stingray. Our team doesn't have either one of those, as a matter of fact. We have the strangest combination of swordsmen that doesn't make this good at all. That 10 attack has been really annoying me for the past few minutes. Every time we take the tower, we get some kind of gain up happening. Oh my goodness, what the Hydra spelling went from all the way to the left to in front of me. I'm pretty sure you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but in my mind I know what I am talking about. So I'm not I'm just not gonna bother explaining. And we pretty much lost anyway, so it's not worth anything. <sighs> what a wonderful, uh, what a wonderful second match we had there. Well, technically, all the matches we had were relatively horrible. This one was way worse. Power level was really high. I was using a weapon I had no experience with whatsoever. And yeah, so I'm gonna just not pick this weapon. Okay, never mind, we're moving on to another mode. Alright, so it's Splat Zones, and I feel very positive you guys know what weapon I, I'd be whipping out in these types of modes in particular. I just don't know how good I'm going to do, or how bad I'm going to do. But to be honest, I'm gonna assume I'm gonna do a lot more horribly than literally anyone that's in this lobby right now. I mean, hey, at least I actually have reach, but unlike that, I'm getting harassed by a blaster, and then I got harassed by a bomb. One thing that's also making me uncomfortable is the fact that someone has the explosion, and that I personally don't like. Alright, one thing I've always been asking myself is how good is the Booyah bomb on the zone in particular, because I feel like that in some level, in some level, it's uh. Wait a second, actually, now that I think about it, that's an explosion on Surgeon's Shipyard. Which. That makes the explosion ten times more annoying than it should be. Alright, there we go. Get rid of him. We just, uh, just need to hold this on. We need to, I think the one that's guaranteed going to be the most annoying is the explosion right there. Oh boy. Well, at least every once in a while I'm getting someone with the Booyah Bomb. That's all I care about, at least. You know, now that I think about it, maybe that's the point of the Booyah Bomb is to actually take care of other people, not the zone. Which, which, it's not wrong to use the Booyah Bomb on the zone, but I feel like in some level maybe it's a little bit better if it was used on others and not on the zone in particular. 
Oh my gosh. Alright, alright, alright. Now it kind of comes down if you can actually see me. Ooh, something in the back of my mind told me that she was coming. And I saw it. So quick, too. That's the best part. Okay, well, they are taking over really quickly. I think we should do something. And by I think, I mean we totally should. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm just gonna hold them. No, you know, no, you know what? I think that's why I use the splatter shot, bro. I, I'm not someone who tends to move a lot. You gotta be someone who's gotta hold the zone in a lot. You know, then again, I think it would have been a little bit more useful if I shot the Booyah Bomb at the general area they usually be heading at. That's not what I did. Although, we are still taking the lead, so I guess this ain't too bad. Or it could be my team. Maybe my team is just carrying me. Who knows? Could be that. Ooh, alright. That was a good match, I think. You know, the more that I'm thinking about it, I think this might actually be... I mean, I don't know what I'm working on first, but this might actually be my first Splatoon video of 2019. <laughs> and I was correct, my team carried me. I mean, hey, at least I got 9 spots. At least I did better than a lot of the other people on the opposite team, that's all I care about. As long as there's some kind of effort put into this, then I'm fine. Alright, well anyway guys, this wasn't that long of a video, but I feel, uh, I feel, I feel like it's necessarily if it isn't, because if it was, then that would be very concerning, but, you know. Anyways guys, I'll, uh, if you guys enjoy watching this, uh, ASMR video, even though this probably ain't really that much of an ASMR video, but I mean, maybe, who knows, I'll see, anyway guys. Give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you like some more of this. And I'll see you guys whatever we do next. Take care and God bless you all. <laughs> what a wonderful time of the year this is, isn't it?